Seasons, greetings, and happy holidays. My name is Ben, and welcome back to the bench for another episode here in our 12 Sprues of Kitmas Holiday Build Series. Before we get into it, though, today, guys, let me go ahead and say a Merry Christmas to everybody out there who is celebrating Christmas today. This is the 25th, so I wanted to say Merry Christmas, and hopefully Santa brought you some awesome models there under your tree. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump on into that random drawing box. And as you can see, we are moving on to day 10. Let's go ahead and punch on through here, and let's see what we have in store for us today. Build day nine was a little troublesome, but I'm hoping build day 10 is a little bit better. So let's go ahead and grab that label. Let's go ahead and check it out. And it looks like we'll be building the 172nd scale Leopard 2A6 by Dragon. Okay, another tank. Actually, the last tank here in the 12 Spurs. I've had it for years and years and years. I got it from an old hobby store, and I've just never built it. It's a kit that actually looks really, really nice. I don't know much about modern armor, but this is one of those really impressive looking vehicles. So we're going to go ahead and give it our best shot. Now, this is done by Dragon. So we've got vinyl tracks, yes, but they're not trumpeter. So they might actually work a little bit better. I don't know for sure, but we'll see when we get there. Otherwise, parts look great. Everything looks like it's going to be a really fun little build. We do have that nice NATO tricolor camo scheme. That's going to be fun to airbrush. We're going to have to freehand that and just go with it. For weathering, I'll probably keep it pretty minimal. A little bit of panel line accent washes here and there, and I think that's going to be good enough. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into our first time lapse, grab all the parts, get our glue and files ready. Let's go ahead and build us a leopard to a six.
right, so we are back and we've got the leopard more or less assembled and ready to go ahead and go into priming, painting, clean up, all that good stuff. And I got to tell you, some of the part fit is awesome. I was able to basically friction fit every single suspension part. They just stayed exactly where I placed them and it allows them to be slightly movable. So if I wanted to go ahead and do this like a diorama, I could actually position those road wheels at different elevations to go ahead and give it a little bit of look like it's rolling over something like a rock or a mound of dirt, trench, whatever the case may be. That's actually really, really nice. But we're going to go ahead and move on now to some cleanup, some priming, painting. We're going to go ahead and paint that NATO tricolor camo scheme and then we'll be back, gloss it over and then hit it with decals. And I think after that, we'll hit it with the flat coat. So just a little bit more here. Let's jump on in. Let's get ourselves a finished Leopard 2A6. Now, all right, everybody, we are back and we have finished off our build day number 10. That model kit was awesome. I had so much fun building up the Leopard. It went together perfectly well and those tracks actually worked. So here is our finished product. Kept the weathering to a bit of a minimum. Just use a little bit of Tamiya Paneline accent wash here and there. And I'm so happy that the tracks actually worked. They weren't brittle. They didn't pull apart. I could use some basic super glue on that. Everything stayed in place and we are good to go. Get you a bit of a close up here and you can check out some of the details. This kit was a lot of fun to go ahead and work on and to build. I love the tricolor camo scheme that's got that NATO black green and brown on there. I would venture to say that an armor modeler could do wonders with this model. Not only are there a ton of extra parts and pieces and details you could use, everything went together beautifully and the suspension arms are all individually posable. So you could make this going over undulating terrain, the whole works. I just went ahead and painted up the MG up on top of the turret and called it quits though, but an experienced armor modeler could absolutely take this to the next level. It was a very nice model kit and a pleasure to build. Coming back through all the other tanks I have built so far on this series, this one was probably the most fun. It took about double the amount of time that the trumpeter kits took. I did an okay job for not really building armor very much and never building a modern tank before. This is not a bad one to go ahead and kind of get your feet wet. Also, the detail on this, just even on the grills alone, there is just some awesome looking detail. And the icing on the cake, the tracks actually worked with basic super glue. I was able to glue those together, put a little bit too much on, I will admit, but I was expecting them not to work and they actually stuck and stayed put. So I'm pretty happy about that. That is it guys. Build day 10 is all finished up and I am super excited to go ahead and jump in to build day 11. We are just two episodes away from finishing off the series. So far, so good. I'm hoping we can finish off just as strong as we did when we started. Anyway, until our next episode, guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful Christmas day. You know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here on build day number 11 here on the 12 Sprues of Kidness. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays, and we'll see you soon.